Hello YouTube, um, Helicopter Pilot 16 here. I am going to be doing a video about how the F-104 creates its howl, and there is no video that explains it, and I've even asked that question until I've had to find it out myself, so hopefully this helps you out. If it doesn't, don't comment, don't even watch it if it doesn't help you. But, okay, set it in the close view. Okay, so grab a pointer here. I will explain this is a cross section of the nozzle and if, as you can see I've built two model nozzles of a J79 they aren't to scale trust me but they work they do howl so and I will be showing you that don't worry let me make sure I've got my camera on the right spot here okay so you have your jet pipe your uh, thrust nozzle for the uh, afterburner and the thing to notice in a J79's afterburner is there are two nozzles, two pairs of nozzles. When it is open, they, this one forms flat against here, so it actually looks like it's just one big flap, and there is openings right here. I've pointed arrows where air can flow through. The uh, secondary one closes a lot cl closer together. The diameter is sh smaller than the outer one, and the thing I've found is, well, this is common sense for me, but the uh, diameter on the inner one has to be smaller than the one on the outside. If this was smaller, the air would travel here and go out where it needs to, but then, because there would be a gather of pressure here, it would go out the front. It's kind of go figure type thing, but that needs to be bigger, but just a tiny bit bigger, not too much big, or it'll, it'll just go past it and not do anything. But where the hull is created is right here as it enters and right where I've drawn these circles what happens there is it's kind of like a wing has stalled because the angle of attack change there is very very sudden and it stalls out and creates a lot of vibration in this area not vibration you could feel but supersonic vibration if you want to put it that way any vibration is supersonic it's just yeah um and the air tur the turbulent air there vibrates and creates that howl that you'll hear and the thing is to know that uh, these both open and close and when they're open that means the F-104 is at idle and there is no howl until both of these close and that isn't full thrust that's about 80% thrust or so I've been told at 100% thrust with afterburner they'll both be wide open again and the uh, howl usually only happens at that throttle during flight and not after burning flight landing half the time it's you can hear it so and I am going to show you my home built F-104 nozzles out of cardstock paper and and yes hot glue hopefully you can see all this I'm gonna actually go into the kitchen now where I'm going to show you with a very powerful fan how it works and please tell me if you would like me to show you how I've made these. I will. It'll just take me uh, another day to make that video. Because the table I'm making these on isn't clean right now. Because I've been working all day trying to figure it out. But okay, now we're in a brighter area. Here's the first nozzle. Here's the fan I'm powering it with. If you can't see it, it's pretty powerful. But, so... I'll just explain this as quickly as I can. Um, here you have like my jet pipe that I've made. It's just one diameter and it goes all the way back to about here-ish. And uh, inside here you'll see that secondary nozzle and the air can travel through that little area, that little groove. Let me make sure you're seeing that. Let me just make sure I'm on the right one. I'm on the right one but you can actually see where the air travels through inside of there. And then the air travels into those areas to cool and to add more thrust. It would probably do more cooling job than thrust adding, but this is my uh, second one. This is the first one I've, that I've ever gotten the whistle. The uh, thing that I've found, like I've told you, is that diameter problem was my main problem with making it whistle. 
and you want the area from the nozzle exit here to here to be long. You don't want it to be close together, otherwise that turbulent area will not form. Because the newer one I've made, the distance is even longer and it howls a bit more better. This one is more of a screamer, that one's more of a howler. And here with this fan, I am going to show you. So, I'm going to turn it on here get these out of the way so it doesn't blow them out of sight. So, which one should I do first? This one? Um, I'll do my first one first. Then the second one. Start it up. Hopefully you heard that. If you didn't, you're probably deaf and need some hearing check, but that was a pretty loud whistle at the end when I had it on lower stuff. But yeah, that was a great example of that sound. Now the second one to show you. Okay, turn it back on. Didn't really catch it at the end there. I have only two hands. If I can vary the throttle on this fan, I could probably get a very good whistle out of that middle area on both of them. So, there you go. And if you want, I can teach you how I made them. But that'll take another two days to show you. Um, thank you. And this is masking tape, like I've said. Thank you, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Now I'm going to actually start making videos because I'm sick of not. It makes me look like I don't care about YouTube, which I do. But I don't want to seem like an internet person. Thank you for watching.